archaeologists. I'm the Jonstruct. Welcome to the proximity. I'm having a Somnium. AI, the Somnium Files. Nirvana Initiative Adventure. And I'm going to load up my manual saves. I prefer it. And I'll tell you what. Let's get rid of that as well, oh, shall we? Oh, Mizuki! Drinking early, I see. Shoma's father was found here. Where's the rocket at? I was raised at Iowan. She still has her mask on. Why are you running from me? All I want to do is break your bones. All I want to do is break your bones. Upside down face! Of course, the first thing we've got to do in this important end game scene is look at every single random object. Oh, look up! It is moving. No. It's a bit of computer. This is a fucking dingy room. Pipes, we love pipes. There's a camera for recording interrogations. More pipes. Mirror, two way. Reflected in two way mirror. Hello. Right. And the masked woman. The mask is really stylish. That mask is really stylish. Yeah, I told you. Where'd you get it? I want one too. What? What are you trying to do here, Mizuki? I wanted to lighten the mood. I thought you would open up a little. About the Nirvana Initiative. Unfortunately, I don't know any specifics. All I know is the plan. To cause a worldwide simultaneous bug and have all of humanity reach Moksha. That's the gist of it. Well, what does that mean? I don't understand. I do. I don't either. I do. All I know is, that's their plan. Nice. Yes. Nice. But ever since Tokiko was killed, their plans have become even more shrouded in mystery. I don't understand it. About the mysterious person, Insomnium. There was a person that appeared in your dreams. He said this. The Nirvana Initiative is proceeding as planned. Humanity will eventually reach Moksha. That was terror, wasn't it? Which means you've met him. Why aren't you answering? Because I don't want to. Why not? Because I don't. Curious. I told you everything I can share with you right now. Now let me go. I can't just let you leave. Why? Do you want to play card games? Is that an option? Some bridge, maybe. Mizuki. I do not think we can get any more information from her. And I don't know the rules to bridge. We should think this through. Think what through? Where we are headed next. When we wink synced into that nice member at the shrine, he said this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the rehearsal tonight. A rocket with TC Purge and the warhead. Right, might need my diary said. Might, might need my whiteboard is what I was trying to say there, but it's been folded away. Do I have sound? Does the game have sound? Yes, yes, to both of those. Uh, TC Purge, such a wonderful virus. So tonight's rehearsal is for the Nirvana Initiative. It is true we do not know the details, but they are almost certainly connected. But we don't know where to go. True. Rehearsal. Rehearsal. Good she said it twice, because the first time was a rehearsal. Oh, I remember! Let me just tell you this. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misata. Hey, where are you going? To the rooftop of Misata! Uh, I'm not a suspect. If you don't let me go, it's illegal detention. Hmm. That is correct. 
fine. Come with me. Department store, Misatan. It's lucky one. It's one of those places we've been before. I mean, we can just solve all the problems by continuously going to the same 12 places. I came to Mesa Town with a masked woman. They gave her all the details on the car ride over. And we came up to the rooftop, and something caught my eye. Little teddy bear. Ryuki? What are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki. I'm here for the investigation, of course. Have you slept? Oh, sorry. I, was, I, was, I almost didn't look at the vending oh, machine. Why not talk to Ryuki first? Because yeah, I want to look. There's obviously something wrong. Because I'm supposed to look at the, the arcade. I'm right, fine. Fuck you, game. Uh, why are you looking at the Ferris wheel? I'm waiting. Waiting? For it to come down. What do you mean? Hey, are you listening to me? Why are you here? Like I said earlier, I'm here for the investigation. I got some important info. Here, on the rooftop, something terrible is going to happen. That's the face I make. Something terrible has already happened to you, Ryuki. That's the face I make when something terrible is going to happen. Hello, Eisen. True. How are you? Are you okay? What do you mean? You don't seem well, physically or mentally. I'm fine. If anything, I'm feeling good. It's all right now, because I am here. Half might, ultra plus one. Ultra plus one sounds like it was a, a um. Ooh. I still would have probably spent less than that, but um, I'm glad you found out on sale. You see? Then you probably shouldn't be watching this because this is very spoilerific. Have you played the first one? Mr. Date seemed well too. Oh, I see. Oh, then that's a great price. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm really close to the end of this game though, so I'm, you should probably not stick about then, which is I hate to do. Uh, although it won't have any spoilers for the first game by the time you get here you probably would have forgotten but like there's a chance you may see a critical thing going on right now I saw him earlier fair enough what are you talking about he was probably hallucinating he had no mind as I instructed before, it is generally better to not challenge those kinds of delusions, or else... And, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, but, um... They'll t like, it's a talking game, so they will say the spoilers. But, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, this investigation specifically won't spoil the first one as well, because they made it that way. The Although, symptoms might get worse. It might, because I... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Oh well. Let's just leave Ryuki B for now. Right. We need to find the rocket. Hey, bastard. You. Oh, I'll scan, scan his brain. Huh? Hang on, I got distracted. Um... Fair enough. It is a murder mystery, though. Um... So you might find out the actual murderer before finding out, before playing the game. But um, I will continue as if uh, spoilers don't matter. Like, I'll just play as normal. I have to protect him before something terrible happens. There we go. What? 
I do not know what he means either. I'm That's my cup of tea. Let's just leave it right. We need to find the rocket. Hey, bastard. You. him before I kicked him too that's not the point it's not like I hit him in a weak spot what would the weak spot be like his temple that's not an answer I haven't gotten him back for six years ago what are you talking about oh yeah okay you have met him anyway where is the rocket okay the fact that he's a twin without a twin is really suspicious we need to find it, or else... What the... Mizuki... I know! Vending machine! There's a row of vending machines here! Uh, arcade! I d don't think there are any rockets there! Ferris wheel! It's a Ferris wheel! Thanks, game! L light Street light Ah, oh, sort of... Bear ride. Is that the rocket? That would look awfully cute flying through the sky. It would. They're not wrong about that. Um. Gosh, can. Now's not the time for a snack. Wait, what? I wouldn't eat anything out of that, even foie gras. You wouldn't eat foie gras anyway. It's fucking cruel. Binge. Am I thinking of the right thing? Is that foie gras? I might be thinking of something else. Trash can! Again. Question mark. X-ray the question mark. <gasps> it's the rocket! There! I mean, it's literally the, the hidden room we found last time. A rocket? Mizuki? Yeah! This is only the test run. Ah, oh, it was a draw! Bum, 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 bum. Then it's a test run. That was kind of a cheap explosion. You might want to play the 999 series as well before that, this. They're not... They're not connected, but... They're spiritually connected, I'd say. Although that's three more games. They're not as fancy as this. Might be able to get them for like six quid. Actually, I don't know if you can get them for like six quid, but... The Zero Escapes series, I mean. They are, what I will say is, the stories aren't exactly coherent, They're, like there are quite a lot of plot twists, but it's a fun ride, it's a ro like, literally as you described, it, they're roller, these are roller coasters. Um, uh, your mileage may vary on characterization and stuff. Like this game cares more about characterization, because you're, you're following one particular person, uh, it, rather than Zero Escape is about people in the locked room who are strangers. I need to clean my television. Oh yeah, of course. Andy's Komeiji. This is the left half of the man named Yonaharo Enda. What does this mean? Yeah. What is it doing here? We should investigate. Then we can discuss what we have learned. I think plot uh, character development happens. Then, I would say, 
I think these games care more more than for hang on what am I saying words how do they work these games even the Zero Escape series is just specifically all about people uh, to the point that I think it cares more about people than the plot even making sense whether they grow in a realistic way uh, though that's an entire different question but uh Grid, four player game. You just dealt 13 cards. Hmm. Bridge. What? Why is, why is Bridge twice? I, I, this is the biggest mystery of the game now. Design a baby. Uh, yes, I've seen Gattaca. Um. Hey, Val, I'll read the rest of that later. Check on the time I got you. Uh, that one. Right, uh, Ferris Let Wheel. Search around here later. We should talk to them first. Don't tell me what to do, Iber. Um, fine. Police officer. Damn that terror. After everything he's done. Probably a bit of a waste of that. We'll find you and arrest you. If it's the last thing we do. Do you find anything? At a scene like this, I'm almost more stunned than I am upset. Not even a hair of evidence left behind. Terror must be meticulous. About the body. Andy's Kameji's left half. I don't know how it's possible. Give chocolate. Took some chocolate out of my pocket and handed it to the officer. Oh, thank you. I'm honored. Sorry, that chocolate earlier. It's actually dog poop made to look like chocolate. Huh? What do you mean? Inspector? What's your name? <laughs> Have you forgotten? Oh, right. Your name is Emochi. Right. My name is Emochi. Omochi. It's Omochi. I said it's Omochi. No more ready. I don't need to ask again. Hello, Screams. I know his name. Probably don't need to ask. His name is Omochi. Name disappeared into the void. Let's ask again. You're never going to remember it, huh? Your name doesn't really matter. I remember you. I know that you're hardworking and kind. Isn't that enough? <gasps> Oh, thank you. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you around, Mr. Sutsukamushi. I changed my mind. Names are important. Any new intel? Meiji's time of death is around 10 o'clock on the 13th. He didn't have anything on him. I guess it goes without saying that the cause of death is the same as all the previous victims. He died by being cut in half. Died as he lived, being a half a person. No, that's not true. Um... No sign of hair fingerprints, and even footprints. As a precaution, I've tested the area with luminol reagents. I thought maybe we could find Terror's prints. Luminol reagents emit light when they react to the iron in blood. Yeah, I know. It's in Zero Escape. Also, I've heard of luminol. Everyone's heard of luminol. Consider an imperceptibly small blood stain. That I shall, uh, I bear. Right, I've done that. Or old blood stains that have been cleaned up or otherwise removed over time. I didn't know I had a choice. You took too long with saying the second part. Luminol will allow us to detect such things. Yeah, I know. Boss beat that kind of stuff into me like a million times. Can you imagine investigating a serial killer and like halfway through the case having somebody try to explain what Luminol is to you? Unfortunately, the sun is out. Ah, oh, fuck that. It's too bright to see anything, really. If only... Umbrellas existed or some shit. I'll look again after we set up some shade. Okay, I guess he's doing that. Stage? No, I need to talk to them. No looking at the stage, how dare you? Uh, 
Okay, here's some chocolate. Took some chocolate out of my pocket and handed it to the detective. It's Turlo chocolate. But what is this? It's Valentine's Day, so... It, it, this, this doesn't mean anything. You, you, you can't get on my good side with this. He seems really happy about this. <laughs> this is too easy. Any leads or leads? I'm gonna assume that means leads. Yeah, two things stick out to me. Three days ago, 1 a.m. on the 11th, this department store experienced a building-wide power outage. Someone cut the cable. What else? Security guard told me a funny story. How funny was it? I recorded it. It's up on the cloud. I'll be sure to check it out later. I'll listen now. Oh, Iva, mm -hmm. got it. I'll play it. Better be have a really funny story. Four hours after the power outage, so like five o'clock in the morning on the 11th, someone walked by the security room at the rear entrance. They were pulling something on wheels. What was it? I don't know. Everything was dark because of the power outage. I didn't see their face either. I, I couldn't hit him with a flashlight fast enough. How did you see the wheels? Anyway, they broke in and climbed up the stairs. I went after them. But they got the jump on me halfway up the stairs. They pushed me over. I fell down the stairs and blacked out. Do you know where they might have been going? My guess is the rooftop. I heard them muttering under their breath. Rooftop. Rooftop. I need to get the bow. The bow. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. But they weren't speaking very clearly. I couldn't really hear. I think they were really drunk. That wasn't a funny story at all. I was miss out this story. I could smell alcohol the whole time I was chasing after them. Was it a man or a woman? Sounded like a man. What about the department store? Anything stolen? Broken? No, nothing. Do you have footage? No. The power outage caused the security system to go down. Not a very good security system then, is it? This all went down three days ago in the early morning. And the same thing happened this time around. You mean about the power cable? Okay. So I'm reacting to the message I've just got. Uh, which, I mean, I didn't ask you the question, but I should have because I could... Stand with being nicer. Stand of, stand to, stand to, with them. I could stand to be nicer. There we go. That's kind of like the words I wanted to say. Yeah, cut again. Around 4 a.m. this morning. So they let the same thing happen twice. How moronic. Who first found the commodities? So somebody repaired the wire. Hang on. Four AM and five o'clock on the eleventh. Okay. Who first found the body? The security guard here. He was patrolling the rooftop amusement park this morning and found it. That was around an hour ago, so six AM. After that, we got some more intel on the situation from Abyss. That's how I ended up here. Hmm, this is quite curious. The tagline for this game. What exactly happened on the 11th? Power outage happened at 1 a.m., right? And four hours later, a suspicious person went up to the rooftop amusement park. Mizuki, let's investigate. Got it. Using science? But I've not inspected everything in the scene. Nirvana is the sequel, yes. The first game has no, um, subtitle. Before we begin, let me inform you of something. The inspector said that he covered the area with luminol reagent, correct? I'm um, doing pretty well, thank you very much, Scoops. I've booked tomorrow off. I have, a uh, minor surgery tomorrow. Uh... Which, yeah, it should be fun, I guess. I mean, it doesn't have a... <laughs> I feel like you know what I mean, but just in case, uh, it's the first one is just called AI the Somnium Files, 
and the second one is called AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Director said to cover the area, okay. Usually, the naked eye could detect a reaction so long as the area was dark, but because it is currently bright out, that is impossible. They did say they were going to set up shade or something. Just put your hand over shit. We do not need to wait for that. Luminal reactions are a type of oxidation. Oxidation releases heat very faintly. So we can see it using thermo. Correct. Got it. Let me look around. Yeah, it's like very, a very simple procedure. To the point that if you look it up on the internet, the internet says, hey, don't do this yourself. Uh, so it's a thing that people can do themselves, but probably shouldn't. You definitely should not do minor surgery on yourself. Um, I'm going to click on all the things. Trash can. It's a trash can. What could be inside? It will always be a mystery because we did not look. I hear the mage you liked Ferris wheels. Though we do not know if that is related to the body being here. Yes. Game section. Now's not time to mess around. Why do I have the option to mess around then? Airplane ride. Nothing unusual here. Mini train. Unrelated to the case. And then we get to the cat and the deer. Oh, I'd say that. Doesn't look relevant to the case. There's a arrow floating above it though for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that won't take an hour or so. Nothing connected to the case here. And then I can play some computer games. Oh, I've yeah, I've done some programming. I don't think this will lead to anything. That makes sense. Like you were saying before, uh, actually, I guess 3D has slightly different rules about anime eyes being ob um, stretched vert vertically. The TOD is as the inspector reported. The 13th, around 10 p.m. And like the other victims, there are no blood stains. Most of the blood in the body has already been drained. It is safe to assume the culprit is terror. So I know, um, like you can see his eye there. Uh, like they always, the eyes are always in the middle of the head. And the ear, like where a pair of glasses would connect. Obviously the ear is connected like that. But it feels like um, Dragon Ball Z, always, they always have like very wide ears. I mean, um, One Piece... Uh, sort of copied that there One Piece has vaguely although One Piece has like an absurd array of character designs but the main characters have like the, the big ears uh, rather than flag instead um, oh look at the jawline here's a body yeah you can sort of see it's where her cheeks are where her mouth is I think I've looked at everything. Um, I might want to get another light source because this is going to make me invisible. It's sort of terrifying in a way that I, I don't know. This kind of looks cool. Uh, the hat is helping, to be honest. And my eyebrows, of course. Uh, however, I do have a light source. So let's see if we can amend this slightly. There we go. It's not exactly comfortable for me, uh, but um, hang on, I might look better if I put it over there. Nah, it was better looking up. Oops. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not, as long as I don't look, look directly at it, it should be fine. Uh, oh, now we can see what's in the trash can. There's something at the bottom of the trash can. We could have used our hands to something find that. Something stuffed inside a plastic bag. Take it out. You want me to dig through trash? If you don't want to get fired from Abyss. You've got gloves on, it's fun. Then you might end up really having to dig through trash. 
Ugh, jeez. I'm still trying to buy a place. This was in the plastic bag. Clothes, shoes, and a coat hanger. I'm trying not to just give in and buy a place that's too small for me. I mean, if I... I can, I can certainly live with those sorts of places. It just would be nice to have enough room to do the stuff I want to do. But, like, it just would be really sad if I couldn't play my board games with a big table. The clothes and shoes seem to be for a man. There's nothing in the pockets. There's no way of telling who this belonged to. That style of hanger is commonly used for travel. The type that comes with a suitcase. Suitcase? Indeed. Indeed. Inside tr the trash was a plastic bag that uh, would have suitcase clothing. Um, oh. Let's turn this back on. Uh, well, I don't own this, which is the most important thing. Um, so I'm renting. So the, the, there's one big pro right there. Uh, and it wouldn't vibrate like this one does. Um, but this is huge. And, like, that's the main advantage this has. And I think... Let's do that. Uh, but it's underground and sort of damp constantly. What am I looking for? Just one thing on that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess we'll want to go back to the. Uh... <laughs> oh, the UK houses has always been absurdly expensive, um, just because uh, the ruling class own uh, rents out to uh, where they make all their money. Uh, but I live in Cornwall, which means the houses have... It's London and Cornwall, and London is where all the job jobs are. Uh, so, like, I get... It makes sense that it's more expensive there. But Cornwall is just the tourist place where all the dickheads get their second homes. And it drives the... Uh, drives the prices up so no locals can afford anything. It's really annoying. Uh, like, I've got... I've been working for 10 years, and... Uh, it would be nice to own something, but, like... I want to live near work... <laughs> If I go out to the fringes of Cornwall, I might be able to get a reasonable place. Is this a luminol reaction? Yes. As I explained, Indeed. the reaction emits heat, which is why you can see it. So that means there was a blood stain here in this shape. Not was, is. A trace amount of blood, invisible to the naked eye. What is the shape, though? It's a snowman. You can't tell? Could it be... It's the shape of the left half of someone's body. What is it? But it's not Kameji, right? The body shape and height are different. Indeed. It must be from another body. Oh. Oh, but we only know somebody, the one person that large. Judging by the rate of oxidation, the body must have been placed here sometime between the 10th and the 11th. Is there a secret extra dead person? Whose body was it? Unknown. We would need to run DNA tests. In any case, the victim's body was severed in half. The culprit is no doubt terror. And it was likely terror that brought the body here. Hmm. Left half body shape. Well, bonk, would you keep it in the jungle? Is this another luminal reaction? Footprints and what appear to be wheel tracks. The prints were made by dress shoes or loafers. The tracks are probably from a suitcase. There are no tracks leading up to the body print. Yeah, there are. There are literal. What? What are you, what are you talking about? The, the tracks lead next to it. As if they were. What? Someone must have pulled the suitcase over it. Oh, I. Okay, I get what it's. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, they, they said it in a weird way. Yeah, the tracks appear. So the body was... What they're getting at is the body was in the suitcase. After moving the body? Correct. Or else the traces would not be there. Right. Somebody pulled through the body print with, by pulling on a suitcase. 
Okay, I need this thing to be over so I can take this light off my face. Hey, about that other body, the one that isn't Komeiji. Let's just call it A. A's body was put there sometime between the 10th and the 11th, right? Well, these people would be terrible programmers. Stop using just singular letters and numbers as codes. Right. So the person with the suitcase... Four hours after the power outage, so like 5 o'clock in the morning on the 11th, someone walked by the security room at the rear entrance. They were pulling something on wheels. Your thinking is correct. It is safe to say the owner of the suitcase was the intruder at 5 a.m. on the 11th. Let us call them S. Are S and Terror the same person? I believe that to be highly unlikely. Why? Let's retrace everything. Misaton lost power at 1 a.m. on the 11th. It was most likely Terror who cut the power cable. While the security guard was investigating the cause, they infiltrated the rooftop amusement park. Yes, definitely. That is probably when they put A's left half there and left. It's got a log button. I think that's... The... Although I would I would count both Persona 5 and Metal Gear Solid as a visual novel. But let's say um, they are in the game side of visual novel. I will say this is on the visual so no novel side of visual novel. Four hours later, at 5 a.m., S arrived on the scene. That's also true for Zero Escape, but Zero Escape does have a bunch of escape rooms in, which are essentially puzzles, and this does as well. The owner of the suitcase, right? S pushed the security guard down the stairs and came here. S found A's left half. What do you think they did next? Removed clothes from suitcase? I think they opened their suitcase, then took out their clothes, shoes, and the hanger. They put those in the plastic bag and threw it away in the trash can. Why did they do that? Um... In order to make room in the suitcase? What was their objective? Oh, never mind. My Pokemon needs, um, attention. Okay. Game, do you wanna? Okay. All right, back to the case at hand. Uh, wh why did they need to make room? Why? To put a balloon in the suitcase. The sky cycle in the suitcase. To get ah. To put the body in the suitcase. In order to put A's left half in the suitcase, it wouldn't have fit otherwise. And then? Alright, I feel like that case needed more stuff in. Like half a body, what does this do next? Uh, do we have any other options? They put A's left half into the suitcase, then took it with them. That's how the blood patterns we saw got there. I see. I know I just explained the how, but I don't get the why. We can think about the why later. We should prioritize confirming the facts. Now for the main event. Main event? Oh, you know, the filming. What are we filming? My very important movie! Oh, we're doing that again. You will play the part of S. 
Let us begin. Ready? Action! It is currently 1 a.m. on the 11th. Our story begins with terror placing the left half of A's body upon the stage. I don't understand, like, diegetically why this happens. And four hours later, the mysterious S enters the scene, dragging along a rolling suitcase. Like, I understand it's... I've, it, this is basically Danganronpa, the comic scenes, uh, when you have to put the comics together. Um. Oh, I'm so drunk. Right. According to the security guard, S was intoxicated. Bravo. You've perfectly incorporated that detail into S's backstory. Outstanding. Well, there's probably the virus. What is this? What is this doing here? Brilliant. Fun Dance Film Festival, here we come. I don't know why, but I have a sudden urge for takeout. But I can't take it home like this. I know. I'll put it in here. Okay. Now that the suitcase is empty, I just gotta... We totally did that off screen. Bravo, bravo. Oh, you know what? Your acting was so enchanting that I actually forgot to roll camera. Boo. Could you please do it again? No. No. There we go. We, uh, case closed. Blackout amusement. Got ourselves a trophy. That behind my face to be the slightly dis actually we'll put it over the blue the bloopy bloop blur like that instead and i go hello a little dot what do you think little dot do you see s and terror must be different people too many things would not make sense if they were the same person for example if they were the same person terror would have had to leave a's left half there but then return to retrieve it why would they do that? It is illogical. Oh, I see. Wait, but like... Who cleaned up the blood then? But couldn't the same be said for S? Why did S take A's left half with them? Well... Unknown. Hmm. <laughs> it's not like I think that S and Terror are the same person. According to the security guard, S was really drunk. Or TC Purge. I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't really fit Terror's image. While that is more intuition than logic, I do understand what you mean. So who is S? I think the strange words are our hint. Rooftop. Rooftop. I need to get the bow. What is the bow? A's left half? Hmm. Who even is A? The bow? The bow's the left half of a ship. And where was the left half taken? Come to think of it, we don't even know where the right half is. There is another thing we don't know. The bow in the stern. Why did Terror come to this place to leave the left half of a body twice? First, on the 11th at 1am, it was A's left half. Oh, and that's easy. This game only has like 12 locations. We just keep going back and forth between them. Then, at dawn today, Terra put Komeiji's left half here. Hmm. In any case, we know one victim for sure. Andy's Komeiji. Investigating him may yield results. Okay. First, let's go to his son Shoma's place. There is another person that may know Komeiji's secrets. Ryuki. <gasps> he has synced into Komeiji before. Yes, I suppose he has. Good point. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she doesn't know about him stealing something. So where are those two now? Ryuki is at Yoyagi Park. I mean, I thought... 
I thought the first half of the game was... Thank you for the clip, by the way. Uh, it was, um... Her learning all that stuff, but apparently Shoma not. is at Central Hospital. The hospital? Why? Well, he stayed 12 for six years. Maybe that has something to do with it. Unknown. We should get going. We need to consult both of them. Not before we look at the stage. It's a stage. And the Ferris wheel. It's a Ferris wheel. Thanks, game. What about this... This sky circle thing. It's a ride that loops around the rooftop and is used about what, is, what about the airplane? It's a spinning airplane line. What about the regulation line? It's a holographic boundary line. What about the, the, the gate? It's a gate. Okay, fine. Uh, no, no, there's a detective there. It's a detective. Thanks, game. Police officer. It's a police officer from the jurisdiction. Oh, I've been learning so many new things. There's a forensics officer. Uh, there's a corpse. Okay. I don't understand why any of these are green if they tell me nothing, but I'm going to look at them all regardless because otherwise, why would they be green? I've been trained to click on them, so I shall. Okay, fine, fine. Um, let's go to the hospital. Hospital. Let's try and pronounce words. Let's drink some delicious cola. That was indeed delicious. So he does get a second costume, he just doesn't get to grow older for some reason. Nailed it. I headed to show Shoma's hosp hospital room and made a small talk. Things like the weather, Ryuki and washing machines. The usual, you know. Every time the conversation stopped, there was an uncomfortable silence. Felt like, oh yeah, because like he already knows his, his dad's dead. It's, it's it's just double dead now, or full dead. He was only half dead before. Basically, strangers were still familiar. I shared the thought with Shoma, which got him to open up a little. I saw him smile. I knew the ice had been broken. It was my intention. Shoma, um. Then I told a joke, and I was like, I'll show him a way out. You don't have to be so delicate. You're here to ask about Dad, right? Yeah. Window! It's a window! Oh, these are everyone's favorite bits. I just... Sink! It's a sink! Um... I'm gonna hold out on me, game. Bed! It's a bed! Uh, vitals monitor. A device for monitoring vital signs. Curtains. It's a dividing curtain. Cabernet! It's a cupboard. Uh, okay, you win this time. Oh, no, no, you don't. TV. It's an LCD TV, not on any other type of TV. Bedside table. There's a table next to the bed, hence the name. Bedside table. Right, let's talk to him. Uh. I am also fond of wearing headphones, but I won't lie, I would probably take off my headphones in that one situation. Uh, give chocolate. There we go, there's the courtesy chocolate to give to everyone. Took some chocolate laid out of my pocket, handed it to the Shoma. Chocolate? Yeah. Why? It's a gift. Oh, because it's Valentine's Day. Thanks. About commodities, now you've had some chocolate about the murder. I asked him about any ideas about his dad. We found about day away, of course. After a while, Ushemo replied. I think dad was hiding something from me. I think he did something terrible. Whenever he was home, he was always on edge. But I don't know what that was about. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything. Shoma, why are you, you, why are you at the hospital? Doctor's orders. They need to monitor me a little bit because I'm mentally unstable. I feel like that's... Would they use that word? I'm perfectly fine. I told Ryuki I don't need to go to the hospital. Ryuki? He brought me here last night. Around 1am. Hmm. Why Ryuki? 
I was in a state of shock. I don't really remember. He found me somewhere, I guess. I don't know where. Next thing I knew, I was in his car. His limousine. Shoma, are you okay? Look, I know I can be pretty blunt at times. I honestly don't know the right thing to say. I don't think telling you to cheer up or don't be so down on yourself are gonna do any good, so... I... don't have a father. Or a mother. I don't know my real parents. I don't even know if they're still alive. But I can kind of imagine the pain of losing your parents. I have a younger sister. Well, not technically my sister, but anyway, she's really important to me. I love her more than anything. She's more important to me than my own life. If I lost her, I could just die. So anyway, I, I guess you're feeling something like that. More important than your own life. Same for me. I have someone like that, too. You do? Someone who's more important than my own life. Yeah, you see, I feel like the, the, the emphasis has been moved into a slightly sinister place there. Who? No, I feel like the who's important. My sibling. You have a sibling? My older sister. You have an older sister? My big sis. Do you have a big sister? Well, <laughs> I'll stop from being a... It's anime. It's, it's trained me to just repeat things back. Uh, I mean, literally only one person could be the sister. Um, and it would have to be... Sorry, it's six years. It's present, isn't it? Uh, it would have to be you, surely. You're the only person of the correct age and who has not grown taller in six years. So, things like, uh, some things that don't, don't translate amazingly well from um, Japanese to English are things like uh, big sis, uh, old man, uh, things like that, uh, mother, father, because uh, we just don't have the words. Uh, so you get weird little phrases like big bro and big sis. Um, you hear it a lot in One Piece, the phrase anarchy, uh, and I've learned to sort of recognize it in English when it comes up. Uh, and uh, anarchy is the, the phrase you use for a sort of, it doesn't have to be a literal big brother, but it's somebody who fulfills that sort of role in somebody's life. So people will just adopt, uh, like, uh, I'll just do, I'll just go for the example. Uh, there's a character called Flanky uh, in One Piece, and he's a sort of the leader of a delinquent gang. And over the court, you find out that basically these were kind of all lost souls that he sort of brought in. Uh, so his gang are just people who break, uh, break. Uh, they, they they do an actual job. They they break old ships and they sell wood. Um, so they they are called and uh, older bro. Yeah yeah yeah. And a key. Sorry to interrupt, but so there's another phrase, um, Hime, uh, which I think means princess. Uh, I think I mentioned it before, where you can. So if you're treating somebody princessly, you 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 will add like that can be said. I can't remember the exact context for it, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what Frankie is. Uh, uh, and also, like, the One Piece has a thing about the phrase, um... Uh, I've mentioned this before, uh, but it's not quite the same thing. Um... Oh, I've forgotten the word now. Uh, the na word for a coterie, or a friendship group. Um... I've completely forgotten the word. It'll, if I watch it, I'll, it'll come to me again. Uh... Anyway. Shoma is needed for a mental examination. It's a Japanese word. It doesn't translate. Sometimes they translate it as crew. Sometimes they uh, translate it as friends. And it means something in the middle or both. 
Um, Let's go, Shoma. What was the word? Um, Google Japanese word for a friendship or crew. Nakama. Nakama. Uh, Japanese term friend, buddy, crew, comrade, or gang. So anytime you see a sort of found family that have a job, uh, the most obvious example is like a little Scooby gang from Scooby or the Scooby gang from um, uh, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You could describe them as a, as a Nakama. Okay. What? Shoma has an older sister. It seems that way. Yeah, yeah. But like, the thing is, you can't translate it as a single word, and it's a it's a hack move to translate it as a single word. It changes depending on the context. In One Piece, it clearly means crew a lot because they're in a pirate crew, but it means something more important. It's closer than a crew, and like you wouldn't, they would never use the word comrade or compatriot because it wouldn't make any sense. Uh, things are like, you will, um, oh, in the first game of this, there's an old man that keeps calling a woman an old hag, and the way the voice actor translated it, he's got this weird accent where he's like, and then the old hag went over there, and it's just, it's so supposed to sound a little bit rude, but it's an absurd thing for an actual person to say as a description constantly, and it's because it's an, like a, it'll be a Onibaba, I think, um, and he's, it, which has like witchy connotations to it uh but like there's like my point is there's a bunch of these words that have their own set of not just translations but connotations around those translations which won't directly translate in a way that's always comfortable yeah because it's baba yeah bachan but like, there's a bunch of them, because also, not only do they use these words, but they'll abbreviate them in the ways we abbreviate words in English, you know, in English. So they won't even be the real words, they'll be some sort of, uh, like in One Piece, um, there's a character who doesn't say um, Luffy-chan, she'll say Luffy-chin, because she's got an accent, uh, but it's specifically how she speaks as well. And obviously that's not going to translate to anything, because that honorific is just, you know, Mr, but like, because of his age. Uh, but like mispronounced. So how do you even go about that translating it? But uh, things like that. Komeiji has one divorce on public record. Perhaps she was taken by the mother. Iba, check his family register. I can't believe we didn't check everyone's family. It feels like that's standard procedure for any police case. On it. <sighs> Connection error. What, are we in a lead room? Apologies, this may take a while. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's true. Sorry, this isn't all going to fit here down here. We should head to the next location while I figure this out. Which means Agatha Christie might not do great in Japanese. Ugh, damn it. We have another location to visit. Yoyagi Park. This is why I think the ideal way to um, without I'm never going to be bothered to like I'm never going to learn Japanese just to play games because that's a bit ridiculous. Uh, but like I, that's why I like playing watching stuff in dubs because if I can at least hear the language. I can get a sense of what, like, I, you know, you can pick things up easily enough. I know about what happened at the amusement park. Komeiji's left half was found there, right? And so you came here to talk to me. Osan, or someone. Because uh, you see uh, lots of running jokes where somebody gets called an old man. Um, 
Sorry, I mean, sub I will watch the subtitle versions so I can read it while hearing the Japanese, is what I meant to say. Yeah, you pick up little things. But like, uh, Osan, I, I hear Osan, which means old man, I think. But I hear it more often as like a really young person referring to somebody who's like 20 and they'll always go, I'm not an old man, who are you calling an old man? And like, that's the only context I hear that in. And I guess that's just sort of the shows I watch. There's a tree. Trees growing throughout the park. There's probably something in this machine sled shed. There always is. Okay, Sam. Uh, because there's Okaza and O. I've forgotten what Dad and Mum is now. Uh, Okaza and O. Oh, it's two of them. Oh, Sam though. Uh, I mean, old man. Oh, uh, Ok Okazan. But, uh, Finny Machine. Regulation line. Concrete bench. enough one thing because I know um Oksan oh I see yes that actually that yeah that's tracks I know people mispronounce um uh Ko Kojima because they say Kojima and it's Kojima Hideo Kojima uh, and like, even people who, who you'd think would like know how to pronounce it correctly, uh, the guy from the Game Awards who's supposed to be his friend pronounces it wrong. Uh, one thing I always like, uh, it might be just One Piece, because obviously the there's a meme, um, uh, which is um, not the nanny when somebody's surprised they'll say nanny. Uh, but like in One Piece, you don't hear that very often, but you hear, you do hear all the fucking time, Nandaha, uh, which is, um, Luffy always says it when he's confused and needs something repeated back to him, and it'll be in sentences and stuff, but he'll say it by, as a single word, Nandaha, like that, uh, all the time, uh, like, just uh, once an episode, I swear. So, so, like, it's fun listening to different languages because of that reason as well. Oh no. Um, uh, what's that show in German? Um, the time travel one. Um, I forgot what it's called now. Uh, but like, there's a funny bit of watching that show where somebody said the word kaput, and I was like, oh yeah, that's a German word. <laughs> this this thing this thing is kaput. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's literally the correct thing. Um, I forgot what that show's called now. I've not watched the end of that yet, and should do. It's about a cave. Like I said, uh, somebody should put a nightclub in that cave. Yeah, that's probably that. Uh, no, yeah, that's these are the things you don't ca catch. Uh, it's why it's not a good idea to learn uh, a language from a cartoon because people have accents uh, so like so yeah it will be it will be not uh, 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 there's one where they answer the telephone uh, uh, where yes uh, when they answer the uh, mosh mosh uh, which is Moshi Moshi, and the eyes are de emphasized there as well. Uh, there, what's the other one? Shame. Oh, that's a shame. Which is Zanim. Uh, and again, I don't know how to actually pronounce it. This is just me trying to recall stuff from memory. Like, I, I don't go out my way to try and learn anything. 
uh, otherwise I wouldn't be making all these mistakes. About sinking into Komeji. Oh, yeah, I sinked into Komeji. Or oh, Komeji. Any leads? Well, there was Bunda. one thing. Bunda. Komeji must have obtained something. Something that was important to Terror. Komeji was trying to blackmail them with it. I'll check. I just want to check something quickly. Google, what's the uh, Japanese word for old man? Uh, Oji san. Oh. Okay. Uh, and the J, the J I is the de emphasized. And obviously the sand is honorific on the end there. Um, he needed money, so. Where was this? No, because I hear that G san. What's Osan? I swear. Because I've heard G-San as well, or G-San, uh, but I swear there's no son. You mean, where did he get it? Yeah. Yeah. I swear there's one you hear, and you always hear it, as I said, you always hear like a y relatively young person get offended when they're called it. At the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. No. That explains a few things. I'm gonna see if I find it because it's gonna annoy me otherwise. Ah, yeah, Osan, middle aged dude. <laughs> there we go. Uh, o S S A N. a.m. on the 11th. It was Komeji who took A's left half away in a suitcase. But why? It is as Ryuki explained. To blackmail terror with the corpse. Yeah, but... But, like, all this... The, the thing this conversation has, has um, clearly shown is that in, J in Japan, uh, demarking people's ages while talking to them is quite apparently important. Because, like, this is what I'm getting at. You don't refer to people like, hello, old man, uh, like, casually. That's, that would be considered rude in English. You certainly wouldn't be, like, l you know, add it to your sentence. I understand your doubt. But it makes sense, logically. It was a crucial part of Terra's plan to have A's left half placed in that exact spot. In other words, A's left half was important to Terra. But Komeji took that away. And that's when Terra... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, what? Komeji stole a dead body? But that was six years ago. I thought the drunk person was like yesterday. It's it's interesting though. Uh, it's like I I wouldn't be able to like I'm thinking Judith Butler or something like that. It's philosophically speaking, uh, like our language. Even like the things we can think are limited to our, the language we speak, um, and like Japanese is a really good example of that in work, like that working in such a way, like because of the structure of the sentences and what's important to how you normally structure them, they they're thinking subtly different things, um, which is why it's difficult to translate. Because suddenly, even it the subtlety is what's most important, right? Uh, people people apparently care about accuracy and you can you can never have it accurately because they just simply thinking slightly differently in the way that we're used to like like i know when in, in some languages they switch 
things around and you can sort of understand that makes sense you don't necessarily need the subject at that point of the sentence but even that uh because like, that's emphasis right <laughs> yes Yeah, because all language bakes in that um, the English language bakes in that things should be at certain ages, that uncles should be older than nephews. Uh, what is it? I, uh, words are necessarily. Um, what's the word? Uh, words have a strict definition, right? And the thing about st uh, uh, definitions. Let's say I say tens and twenties. Uh, I know I've only got five fingers, but imagine these are ten fingers on this hand and ten fingers on this hand, like some AI programmed how I looked or something. And I say tens and twenties. I've grouped them using two words. And the thing about those two groups is by giving it a definition, I've, I've enclosed all those numbers. Uh, and you go, well, and you sort of associate them away from each other. You go, well, an 11, that's a 10. Uh, that's in the tens group, whereas 17, that's in the... Sorry. Um, uh, 11 is in the tens group, whereas 27 is in the twenties group. So if I were to say 19, which is in the tens group, and 21, which is in the uh, the twenties group, like, they're clearly closer together than, say, 11 and 19. But because I've enclosed it within a word, I've push them far further apart in my head because of how I've defined them. It's it's the reason why they sell things for nine ninety nine rather than ten pounds. Because even though you know everyone on the entire goddamn planet knows there's no difference between ten pounds and nine ninety nine we you've you've grouped it in the nines group and rather than the ten group. And it's just a stupid part of their brain brain says that's cheaper. This language is important. Yeah, yeah, but that's true for like all words, like for uh, for like not just numbers. As soon as you give something a definition, it it it, it makes it it makes things within the definition seem closer than they actually are, and it makes things outside of the definition seem further away than they should be. Just by de m marking it in that way. You're not going to the scene. The scene? The rooftop amusement park. Oh, yeah. I don't need to go there. Why not? Terror is going to get caught. I'm going to get him. You're awfully confident. Any reason why? Well, yeah. So, uh, in the same way that, um, hello Craig. Uh, in clocks, in the UK certainly, clocks in shops are always set at the same time. And the reason why it's set at the same time, because it vaguely looks like a smiley face, and when humans see smiley faces, it makes them happy. And people are more likely to buy watches when they're set at that time. And the funny thing about that is that digital watches uh, are also always set at the correct... Like, if you buy a magazine in the UK for selling st uh, stuff, watches will be set at that time, even on digital clocks, even though that makes no sense. Just because we fuck people... Who follow the rule don't necessarily understand why the rule is in that place. Little psychological tricks work incredibly well at scale. So, like, something like just taking a penny off uh, might seem like a trivial difference, but you're scaling that to millions of people. You took Shomi to the hospital. Yeah, I did. Why? Yes. And not the clock. It's not important. I was just curious. Shoma isn't doing too well right now. You understand why, right? He saw his father. Where did you find him? Misaton Rooftop Amusement Park. Specifically, in front of the Ferris wheel. Why are you here? I've been thinking about a lot of things. Earlier, a really important source for the HB case contacted me. I'm meeting them later. 4 p.m. this afternoon. I've got time. I wanted to think things out, strategize. Who's the contact? I'm sorry, 
but I can't tell you. It's plot related, so you can't know right now. Why not? I need to catch up to him. Date, isn't it? So, we... Date died six years ago, but... Did he? Did he die? He just had a bunch of rocks fall on him. Him? Date. My superior, in every way. Oh, okay, fair enough. Date. He has high hopes for me. Or... Ryuji's not doing so well. So I need to solve this case on my own. I can't let him down. But I'm pretty sure Date... Date spent the entire first half of the game... Uh, Date's the main character to the first game. Uh, please don't spoil the first game in chat, because Heisen hasn't played the first game. Um, or this game, but, like, he's watching anyway. Um, but, like, Date's the main character of the first game. In the second game, Yuki is the main character of the first half. And um, Mizuki is the main character for the second half. Yes, that's what I was getting at. Um, although, are you at the same time directly translating Japanese? So it's like a perfect translation. Also does a poor job of translating it because you're missing if it sinks. But listening to it, certainly. Uh, that's doing both at the same time, I think, is a good idea. That's why I specifically like dubs over subs, because you get both. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And welcome back. You can't be serious. I can, and don't call me Shirley. Look, I'm not going to tell you who they are, regardless. I promised. Oh, so he's not meeting with Daddy. He just promised. I still don't think Dad is dead. Anyway, I need to get going. There's a lot I have to do. Bye for now. There we go, end of scene. Riding around on my... No, it's not an Is it an automobile? I guess it is. Afterwards, Ivor and I went around the city looking for more clues. Oh yeah, one thing I completely forgot is... Um, so this game is called AI The Somnium Files. And if you look at Nirvana Initiative, the last letter of Nirvana is an A and the first word of letter of Initiative is I. Uh, and the first game has a lot to do with a character called Iris, and there's an eyeball, and it's an AI eyeball. Lots of that. They like puns. But the one pun I forgot is that I also means love. Uh, you, uh, if, you, uh, if you watch enough anime, uh, uh, Bleach is a really good anime for this. Uh, obviously, uh, you get this in English where people say, oh yeah, my name means this. Uh, like John, uh, John means... God is merciful? Something like that, I don't really care. But like, but in Japan, like the individual letters all have meanings. Um, and so e I, I think is love. Love. Um, yes. Uh, I like watching when you when you watch a, uh, Jap uh, one of those Japanese animes and some editors decided you're gonna get this pun I'm just gonna have to write it all on the top of the screen ah there we go thank you Heisen so yeah which is quite important to the to the, to the game um, what was I gonna say bleach uh, in the anime fighting anime bleach uh, the free factions have like language themes so all the samurais all in that are all Japanese. All the um, uh, all the archers have German names, and all the uh, the hollows have Spanish names. But what they'll do is they'll have moves that mean one thing in English, and then a second thing in Japanese, uh, because uh, they'll crudely translate it, and you'll get like pun multi-language puns. And, like, every single goddamn move in Bleach is a multi-language pun. I 
I'm glad I read it. So I went quiet while I read your dream. Although I will say, and this isn't, you just reminded me of this, this isn't a comment to what you just wrote, but um, uh, Tom Scott did a video on AI recently, and I wanted to clip a little bit out of it, where he says, uh, nobody cares about your fictional conversation with an AI in the same way that nobody cares about your dreams because they're incoherent to anyone but you. Um, but like, again, that's not a comment on literally the thing you sent. I just remembered it because uh, I wanted to clip it. We're getting pretty late. It's past 11 p.m. Uh, what time is it? It should be pretty late. Oh, it's like... Yeah, it's fairly late. I don't have work tomorrow, though. The, the day was just about over. Mizuki, you have a call, but... I mean, there's nothing worse than being trapped in a conversation with somebody who wants to excruciatingly explain their dream. If you manage to get it in one sentence, that's fine. But, like, an actual conversation is excruciating. You have a call, but... Oh, yeah, that's my smartphone. Yeah, don't answer the phone while on your bike. It's dangerous. But I'm driving right now. Yes, you are. I can broadcast the call. No, you can't. Do it when she's parked. I will display it in your AI That's site. even worse. I need my AI site to see you in front of me. Leon, what's up? This is really bad. <laughs> it's Kizzy. Kizzy! Whoa, whoa. Calm down. What happened to Kizna? Oh, I'm so glad we can see his face. We're getting so much extra information. She's missing! I can't find her! I just realized, because it says Danger Zone, and he's got a picture of a plane, uh, I just, just realized the connection between those two. What? I, uh, there's a bunch of things I wish I could do with this watch. Um, like, I'm... The watch faces, uh, I'm, which is the big gimmick of this stupid phone watch thing, where you can sort of have them for different... No, I don't want to... No, stop that. Stop that. I don't want to talk to you. Um, uh, it's cool, but, like, I, I'm never going to use it for the specific things that I'm interested in. I don't really need to know the moon cycles, and I don't know anyone who needs to know the moon cycles. Uh, the end. Uh, just try and did you, contact, did you try to contact the person you can't? Yeah. Of course I did. I sent her messages on Niall and called her a million times. Like, I've, I can set this one here. No, I'm not stopped. I didn't talk to you. No. I can, this one here, I, you're not going to be able to see it. It's a watch face. I can have a picture of the moon, and I, or I can have a picture of the solar system. So I can see exactly where everything is in the solar system. And like... I'm trying to imagine the situation where you're like, guys, Mercury's in retrograde right now. We better stop everything. Get ready. I don't, I, like, I don't know what, like. The phone rang, but she didn't pick up. Like, it doesn't, like, I, it's interesting. I'll have the solar system as my background picture, but, like, having it as an extra function, I'm just confused about conceptually. Did you let anyone else know? Kizzy's father has contacted the police already. I'm genuinely surprised he's not dead yet. And I called in a brother in arms. The mob boss? A brother in arms? A friend I can rely on. I asked him to look for Kizzy. What led up to her going missing? The last time I saw her was at Matsushita Diner. We had dinner. Kizzy, Mame, and Iris were with me. There's a missing dead body, isn't there? Which means there's a missing second half of the dead body as well? We left a little past nine. I was gonna walk her back home, but she said she'd get a taxi back. Is your best friend a werewolf? But then Kizzy's father, Mr. Chieda, called. He said, he's not isn't back yet. Is she with you? Well, I will say, of course, like, obviously, I think the moon, that takes, like, approximately a month. If it's a month, then obviously lots of things on human bodies uh, cycle around a month. But so potentially, obviously, uh, hormones, you know, have a roughly... What are you doing, phone? I pressed you once. I... I... Oh, it wants me to stand up. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm locked in right now. So 
so the thing about AR glasses, obviously a lot of people get really uncomfortable with the idea that you can just record everything you're looking at constantly. Um, but by the other measure, um, friction is really important. Uh, to getting any, any new technology, uh, again, because we're talking about scale here, limiting... I mean, people... Um, Well, the difference is, like, you can walk into a cinema with glasses on and, like, well, you've got a secret camera right there. Or just, like, just being able to constantly have access to a camera in any situation. Like, if you get a phone out, it's pretty obvious, and somebody can say, could you put that down? But nobody can tell you to take off your AR glasses. Obviously, an AR glasses need cameras to work, right? But, yeah. Uh, if you ever want VR to become a big thing, they need to be as easy as doing that. Uh... That's the only way to get mass adoption on it. Could it be because of the video? The video? We all watched it together. The HB case one. I tried to stop them, but the three of them said they wanted to watch it. Then you should have specifically looked, stood, sat in the room and not watched it, but like, okay, you know, be the um, designated driver of the terrifying video on the internet. I mean, there's an episode of um, uh, Black Mirror, which is all about having being able to record in your eyes. It's actually probably one of the best episodes. One of the best is uh, actually a very Weasley way of describing something. I would say it's in the top five uh, Black Mirror episodes, that episode. I'm counting on you. So I watch a lot of wrestling. What are you going to do? Uh, and wrestling uses lots of qualifiers. If you have enough qualifiers, you can make everyone... Oh, he was the first person to win this in Montreal. And it's like, yeah, that's a really specific thing to be the first person to do. But like, uh, that's why I didn't want to say one of the best, because like, one of the best could mean everyone in all of the episodes, if you like them all right. Do you um, even need to ask? You're going to go look for her? Yeah, it's like millions and millions of years, though, isn't it? Of course I am. It will go out eventually, though. Kizuna is... She's... Big sis! Big sis! Hey, Billions, yeah. Sorry, millions was an absurdly low number to throw out. The phone ring. Which means her phone is on. Iba, check the GPS. Got it. Huh? What is it doing there? This is a very long road. What is it? I found the signal, but... Tell me already! Habasaki District. Ooh. The restricted zone. The abandoned factory. Oh yeah, because... <laughs> Uh, I, I wish they had more money to make... I know, this is it. So this series is more... The, the director is more liked in the West than he is in Japan. So he gets money, he just doesn't get a lot of money. Which means every single fucking location in the first game turns up in the second game. Because that's been bought and paid for, and we're gonna use it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scale is important. I don't see anyone. Living organism detected. They're close. I mean, there's gonna be loads of li living organisms, like ants and stuff. You looking for something? <gasps> You're... I will warn you one last time, just in case. Uh, I know you don't care about spoilers, but this is literally the, the secret villain of the secret murder mystery game on the screen right now. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Hunter, yes. I take it you tried the GPS on this, right? I just, what? I can't hear you. You've got like a weird thing on your voice. Unfortunately for you, she isn't here. What? My god, that phone didn't have a phone case. If only because uh, Kizzy had bought a beautiful uh, snail phone case available now in John's merch store. 
I, she could have had a phone not be broken. We don't supply the little front things. Get that separately. But like, landed on its back. It's, it's look at the, the snail. Oh, which with snails? These snails here, canonical snails. The cannon snails of the John Struct would have saved that phone. We could have done them, solved the murder case slightly earlier. Would have been fine. Ah, oh, Mr. Tricker. That that snail. That's the, look at the snail's face. He already knows who the murderer is. That's why I zapped that snail to the Phantom Zone. Can't have the snail telling sneak secrets. Sneakrets. That's what that snail secrets are called. Sneakrets. Seems you've been sneaking around. S N the snail secret snoop. Um. Also, thank you, screams. It's a nuisance, you know. Getting in the way of my plan. Hang on. Oh, I can't press L1 right now. You cheeky bastard game. So what? Are you gonna kill me? That's a good idea. You wanna fight me? Bad idea. You want to kill that before? Rat catcher! What? I don't believe. It's not my job. Everyone has their own role to play. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out whose voice it is. What do you mean? This. <laughs> Who are they? Goons. Hide goons. Exterminators. They'll do anything for money. I uh, know. You... I bet you get them to clean your toilets or something. Like I bet. I bet it's like limited to murdering people. Like you're not gonna get any of them to open up an OnlyFans or anything like that. They probably, they probably won't do anything for money. They don't look so tough. Bring it on. I have a future pipe. I'm prepared for gameplay. It was prophesized. Gameplay! Oh fuck, I pressed the wrong one. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't ready for gameplay. Oh I was low. No, this can't be happening. See that's an example of what not to do. Mizuki! Snake! Mizuki! Snake! Uh yes, I shall retry. They're like yeah, like it's future pipe, future pipe. <laughs> I did like the head tilt. Up. Left. It's because she shouted left. That was really confusing. Oh, ambidextrous. Enemy on the other side of the container. Got it. Bim, 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 bim. Using science. Um, that one. Oh god, uh, R2. Uh, no! Uh, I got, uh, is that R2 as well? Uh, no! Oh, come on! Fuck off, game! Left. Don't shout left, but right before I have to move the stick right. Got it. I'll get the one on the right first. There we go. Shells. You got a lot of airtime. They, they've got predator tech. Where are they? Mizuki, use thermo mode. I see you. Yeah, 
Yeah. She doesn't even need that motorbike. She just needs two pipes and Terminator everywhere. Expecting the music to kick up. Yeah. I would have shot her while she was doing it. <laughs> Their big mistake there was waiting. <sighs> oh. Damn, she's not human. She's even stronger than my mom. Mums are tough. <laughs> No, you're coming with me. Sorry, I don't have time for you. Yeah? How do you think you're gonna get out of this? I told you, everyone has their role to play. What? No! Not the eyeball. Uh, she clearly saw what happened, but for some reason we didn't. No. Ryuki. <gasps> My God. Why? Ugh. My gun. Something. Iba. Iba. Iba went out. No good. The electric shock earlier. No, it's gone into safety mode. The repair program were activated. The AI function offline. Manual function online. Manual? I remember learning about this. Which means. I can still select things. Like this ceiling. It's a ceiling. Uh, very dramatic scene, John. Uh, pacing is very important to computer games. Handrail. It's a handrail. Uh, oof, what else? What else is there? Um, oh, it's like they've learned or something. Like they've learned. Terra. What are you going to do, Terra? Oh, it's as if I have to talk to the person who's just sitting. Why? Link sync. Dies at loss. Sixteen hundred. Real time. Your terror. Do not look well. Did the staircase tire you out? This place is known as the Cathedral. What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? That's pretty nice. Terror, I'm arresting you for the half-body killings. <laughs> Foolish. Is this all happening in six seconds? Because <laughs> of manual mode. No, they just pulled that out of their ass. That's their secret. It's all asses. It's asses all the way down. That's gross, John. Tama! Is that what you call it? It's fire. Tama! Give her back! Yes, if you 
listen to me, that is exactly what I'm going to do. There's a reason I called you here. I want you to become my servant. Fuck you! I had so, so much time. I used that time to learn many things. Microbiology, electrical engineering, quantum mechanics, human history. It's fair to say there's nothing I don't know. There's a line from Zero Escape. Uh, it's quite a famous one if you followed the series. Uh, uh, somebody who speaks very similar to this when asked, Why? Why are you doing this? And he says, My motives are very complex. And yeah, his fucking motives were very complex. Like, absurdly so. Um, and I'm, I'm getting that vibe right now. Where are you going with this? And now, I have in my hands an AI ball. By using this, I can access the logic system. When I have access, I can delete all the information on this AI ball. What? The backup data, storage, all of the pieces have linked to the global cloud. Even the global cloud that makes up our personality. Everything. In other words, I can make her completely disappear. Fine. What do you want me to do? You know Konami Dante, right? How the fuck can he kill, destroy things on the cloud? You can't, like, what are you doing going to other people's computers and deleting stuff? Mr. Dante? He's on the point of entering the forbidden area. Honestly, he's a nuisance, which is where you come in, but he needs to leave him somewhere. Where? The execution chamber. I'll let you know all the details later. Like, I get that he can steal things from the cloud, but I don't think he can delete things off the cloud. Oh, and of course you understand that no one can know about this. If someone finds out... Tom. That's right. Okay, but how's he had an eyeball? Tom is being held hostage. That's why Ryuki. Call the police. Be like, Tom is being held hostage. Put her in a cupboard. I feel like this is a quick thing. You, you can solve this pretty easily. What the hell are you going to do with her? Somebody has access to my eyeball. Close off the access. Like, you surely you have a central network that can deal with these things. Like an admin. Where is she? The execution chamber. Again with that. Where even is that? I said I'll tell you later. This is why anime murder mysteries are weird, because every so, so often something weird happens, you're like, is that a part of the mystery, or is that just the anime logic? I should be slightly higher as well, shouldn't I? And I know they do it on purpose. Why? So things, things like in the first game, her being super strong is just a silly quirk. And in the second game, no, she's super strong because of plot reasons. I told you, you're going to be my servant now. You're going to leave it, right? <laughs> I mean, in my defense, my I'm, I'm on a sofa, not a chair. So like, I can only adhere to the ch sofa. Oh great, you got it back. Now you don't have to shoot him in the face. How? Okay, how? How did you put a self-destruct online without anyone noticing? Now do you understand what I mean by servant? You, the wadget system connects like every single goddamn electrical device. Like, it's like a super. Uh, I know I don't have to tell you, but you cannot tell her about me after she turns back on. I deleted all her memory of the cathedral. So, in the end of the first game, Iber died, 
and she was put to back together because of all the pieces of her on the on the Wadjo system on the internet. Like she was deleted here and in the office, but because of the Wadjo system, she existed in parts. I told you what. Um, is this six years ago or is this now? I cannot Mr. tell. Date. <laughs> this is why everyone should update their clothing. Oh, it's now still. Okay. Yeah, I knew he wasn't dead. He spent the entire game doing. <laughs> Like, secretly solving everything. Hey, you okay? Okay. Who wants to put money on, um, you know, him being caught as a part of his plan? You're a pirate now. What's wrong? Nothing. You're just so similar. Give Dutty the bare minimum of information. That took 40 minutes because it's an anime plot line. But what about the control room? Hmm. The pipe. Mizuki loves pipes. Likes Iber Iris metal pipe. See, told you she loves pipes and a gun. She likes a gun. Uh, the window, vitally important. Pipes all over. Love those pipes. Window, window outside is still shrouded in darkness. Uh, pillar, pillar of the community. Uh, cable, he's one of the X Men. I understand. Um, and has an eye patch, I think. Does Kip look an eye patch? Scaffold. Might be thinking of Forge. Container. There's a shipping container here. Thank you for the clip. Take his mask off, literally right now. There was on the ground. Hey, bastard. Take off the mask. There's an explosive on the back of his head. Take all the more reason. Take off his mask. It'll explode what? if you try to take the mask off. Oh, fine. But we we'll, we I've got a thing that lets me see through things. So let's just bait off through his face. No. I he just uh, and he knows. Uh, what about Terra? I loaded him up with powerful anesthetic bullets, twenty times stronger than a sleep dart. That would just kill a person, Data. You understand that? You know when they put people under, like you, you know why an anesthetologist is a specific job role? Uh, yeah, you know, unless you're watching House or something. Like you can't just like arbitrarily make sleep darts stronger. Should last at least twelve hours. Huh? Why did you do that? Now I won't be able to ask where Kizuna is, idiot! Oops. I don't know, shoot him with wake up things. That seems like a thing that would exist in this universe. Why are you here? Oh, I heard that Kizuna went missing, so I tracked her smartphone GPS. Just led me here. The phone was destroyed. Yeah, I saw it at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, I mean, it would have done better I had you had a cool ass snail. Okay. Courtesy of the John Store. But I was able to get the location before that. Terror isn't getting up. Maybe if I put a compound fracture in his leg. No. You know how they knock patients out with anesthetics before surgery? 
You mean with an anesthetologist that kind of weighs you and gets the exact right amount, lest you accidentally die? That's basically what I used. He's gonna be out for a while. So what am I supposed to do? Sorry. Don't be sorry, be smart! Think of a plan to find keys enough. I mean, also, if I understand the plot correctly, he also has, like, a brain thing that makes him unhappy. Um, which I'm, I'm sure the game has forgotten. Also, I'm not entirely sure how this body even exists, but... I guess we'll just have to take him to Abyss. <laughs> I understand it exists because otherwise it would ruin the plot to the first game. We need to sink. Sink? Yeah. Then I have an idea. If we go there... I don't know anything about the ending, but I've been told it's very silly. Still here, as expected. Why the fuck is this machine still here? What? No. No, like, after the first case, this would be taken down. What? It's supposed to break if you try to move it. Then break it. Don't have a... This is, like, one of the most dangerous machines on the planet. Why? It's... No. It's weird enough the police have one, let alone having just a spare one. Thanks to that crazy guy. Yeah, I was woken up. Oh, that was a restful sleep. Iba, are you alright? I am, thanks to my recovery program. What happened while I was out? Ah, oh, shit went down. I'll tell you everything later. I was gonna sink to find out where Kizuna is. Sink with who? Hang on, we have to pull out his eye to sink with him. Hmm. This situation makes no sense, but... Understood. Wow! The vile, lowly, perverted old man is here too? Who are you calling perverted? Oh, you could hear me? You didn't cut the line off. You do realize I have a reception device in my left eye socket, right? Since when? Anyway, I never thought I'd see you there, Iba. She is much more comfortable than you, Date. Though her chest size does leave much to be desired. That has nothing to do with anything. Ladies, we have a job to do. Yeah, we need to sync with terror. How'd you do that? I'm just ignoring. I'm just ignoring. Date, can you back me up? You're gonna do it? Of course. I feel like I should do it. Date, I'm the main character. You stand there. Don't worry, my body's recovered a little. Are you sure? I said I'm fine. I have Iba with me too. Indeed. If you say so. Okay. We were told for this to work, you have to pluck one of your eyes out because it's the old machine. And it's okay, been. In, we're ready. It's not in better repair, is it? It's been left alone. <sighs> How, how is that working on his face? Remember, you can only stay in Somnium for... Enough already! But I didn't even get a chance to say uh, It's it. fine with her because she's got a robot eye. It can go through it. It's fine. Just start it. But, like, there was a scene where, like, dude had to pull his eye out because you can just sort of leave it dangling and it can go through. Like... It doesn't have the sophisticated go through eye technology as the one in the police station. That was a, it was a plot point. Of whatever. Five, Just... Three, two, one. Yeah, that's why he's missing an eye because the guy had to take it out. They don't have nanotechnology. Uh, it goes uh, the the tech goes straight to your brain stem. Where uh, am I? Uh, I just want to check something. And also, I probably should save my game. Um, because it's been a while. 
And obviously the thing I want to check what was the Pokemon? The, the Tamagotchi, uh, six. I've got uh, six legs, that's how many I've got. Okay, no, that's not what I, uh... I want to check the flowchart, because it's, it's symmetrical. Oh yeah. So... There's the dead body, and we are missing. There's a secret dead body missing. So, we have this space, one that'll be opposite this, and then one that be opposite this. We, we... Yeah, we appear to be quite far. Who am I? You're my slave. Yes, I am your knave, your jester. What would you be without me? You are just some twin-tailed girl with glasses. I don't have glasses. I've got glasses. My vision is 1.5 in my right eye and 20.5 in my left. Hmm. Oh, I see. Thanks to me. Oh, back to normal. Welcome back. Let's go, Knave. Got it. Somnium scan activate. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's just it, it, it was a part of the plot of the first game because people were missing eyes and they want why why was the serial killer in the first game taking eyes? Well, because to use this machine they had to take an eye out. So it was quite important that be a plot point. It's bifurcating them. <laughs> Terra seems to know something about the HP case and cover the hidden truth behind the iron mask. I can only interact with the sphere. That's going to make things easier then. That looks dangerous. Careful, Knave. Understood. By the way, how long are we going to keep that up? It's kind of a neat effect. Oh fuck, um, time is against us. So I was exploring like you would in a computer game, then I forgot we were timed. Um, it's probably fine, I'll just continue. What is this? Ball, it's a ball. Maybe there's something hidden inside. Can you touch it? It is cold to the touch. Yeah, Terra blank, almost to the point of being a um, blank. That voice was. We need more information. Mizuki, that PC is on. We should inspect it. Then we shall. It says R enter on the display. R. What do you think that means? Arr. I will press enter. It seems like it wants us to press enter. Should we really do it? Even if it's a trap, we won't know what our enemy is up to until we do this. True. Okay. Okay, how the fuck could he possibly plan for brain... Like dream... Ah, oh, in case they enter my dreams, I'll, I'll dream of a computer. There. If Freddy Krueger taught us anything, is that you, you you can't... There's no planning for that sort of shit. Where am I? Okay. Did we move? So, I have noticed... Um, so, because all locations in this game exist in real world and in the dreams, because they didn't have a lot of money and everywhere it has to be used twice, 
Um, we found this hideout, Terra's hideout, before. And I've noticed that all the um, lockers have symbols on. I might need my whiteboard. Doesn't all this problem solving kind of remind you of an escape room? It does, yes. Yes, I know this is by the Make of Zero Escape. Thank you very much, Mizuki. Are you familiar with this, Mizuki? I've seen a friend play it. You cooperate with other people to escape a ship. I only really like fighting games, though. So that's the plot to 999 she's describing. Judging by these characters and equations, you must be correct about the problem-solving angle. But we're in a dream. Things may not be strictly logical. So let's check everything out. Use our heads for a change. No! You should always be using your head. Out. During that blank, they played a blank on their blank. Maybe it was a blank. Um... Nah. Okay, uh, IX. Okay, A, N plus A equals that. I minus X equals that. T minus R equals that. U minus E equals that. I have no fucking clue. Um, 